Okay. Did anybody eat this before? Yes. yes. How many eat already right hand? Okay. Okay, stop, stop. How many did not eat this? Raise hand. The people who did not eat this kind of food before, raise hand. Am I speaking English or Chinese? We can try it. We tried it? Who don't eat? No, nobody? Everybody ate already? Oh, then it's a waste of time. I eat it myself. Yeah, of course. I, I just want to give to people who did not eat. You all eat already? Where? In countries. country? In country? Have? Oh, country, country have it now? Yes. Oh. <laughs> what? We haven't eaten from you, that's right. You eat from me? Uh, no, from, uh, from the one you have. This is Krishna. You what? No, I said I haven't eaten from the. Uh, you haven't eaten from me? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> so you still want to be me a waiter, huh? Okay. Alright then. I don't have enough, okay? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Everybody have a little bit, okay? Yes. I just got it today. So I'm your waiter still, huh? <laughs> yeah, I thought I could go and sit on a master place. <laughs> but since I'm a waiter now, I stand here. <laughs> waiter, you know? <laughs> Standing and serving. The waiter cannot sit, you know that, in restaurant. Building and working. Sometimes I go in restaurant and I invite the waiter or waitress to sit with me. I invite you to drink. No, I cannot, cannot. <laughs> <laughs> so later I have to give them more tip, you know? Say, this is for you and this is for the drink that you have not taken. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I try to... Yeah, now we don't have a lot in the, in the house, so maybe you can have all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking uh, I want to introduce you this to uh, Vietnamese. Fruits, you know, but uh, in in uh, tropical land they all have them. In Thailand also, right? Yes. Anybody from Thailand? Yes. Huh? Yes. They have this. Yes. In Thailand? Yes. Can you translate? Okay. So since everybody want to look at this waiter, I keep turning around. Sorry, my back to you. <laughs> so everybody look at me. You never seen a waiter like this, right? <laughs> Yeah, you miss something, right? Yeah, you don't know everything, right? Okay, so in Singapore, have or not? Yes. They grow it or they import? That's a different import, thing. Import. Import. Yes. Oh, but Singapore uh, is a tropical land. No land to grow. No land to grow. It's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> All the land uh, oh, you grow in high Cross. building instead. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Singapore is doing well, huh? Yes. Good. Good for you. They can grow that in America now, too, Master. They grow in America? Yes. Arizona? Uh, uh, USA, California. California is good good weather also. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How many people we are? Can you count for me? Ten. 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 Seventeen. Twenty. 23, 25, 28, 29. Oh, 28, 29. Oh, I don't think we have enough. So we have to do like one, two, three. <laughs> the winner we eat. Oh. I wash my hand before I turn. <laughs> Just in case you worry. That's why I go. Oh, yes. huh? mm. okay. oh, in case to protect you. Huh? Maybe everyone just, you know, lick on you. What to do? <laughs> For family and a lot of children. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I okay. told you I'm famous for having a lot of children and my husband. Hmm? You saw how many children we have here. Hmm? Every day. A lot of children. Oh, God. I hope we have enough. Just for fun, huh? Yes. yes. I got only one today. Is there any wine? One more? Only one? Okay. Man. Man. I remember when I was a kid. I told you already. My neighbor, you know? They uh, cut the banana into four pieces. Because oh. I have four children. And when I'm there, it becomes five. Oh. Five pieces. Okay then, huh? Lady first, okay? Yeah. And if whatever left, then it's a man, okay? <laughs> yeah, you're a hero. Just take them. Take them.
I expect some tip, okay? <laughs> uh, get some coffee money later. Mm -hmm. Don't don't laugh into the food. Don't talk. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nothing. Can oh, never mind. Better than nothing. <laughs> and the skin to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> to make two people happy, you know? <laughs> okay, you, you, if it double, you share with the neighbors. Come on. Hmm. Oh, together, together. And share with the neighbor. Oh, don't do like that in my drop. <laughs> good, good. Some tea, okay? <laughs> oh, no waiter. Mm. How much? <laughs> <laughs> And laugh into the food. Other people have to eat. Have to learn hygiene, okay? See, I have to wear this. No laughing, no talking. Sorry, sorry. I'll see you. Ôm rồi mà cũng cho ăn nhỏ như vậy, làm sao mà sống nổi? Woman. Mm -hmm. One only, okay? Love only, yeah? This is what they give for me. It's only one person. You know, they give it to me alone, and this is personal. I give it to you. My God, thank God we have enough. Look at that, huh? Not for you. You want? You don't eat anyway. Okay, just try a little bit. I don't think you like it, so I give this one, okay? I don't know, just uh, you have some, but you won't eat it anyway, right? No? He doesn't like food. Wow, we have enough. Thank God, you guys are lucky, lucky boys. Hmm? Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh.
That's it. Uh, thanks for visit my restaurant. Come again. <laughs> tip. <laughs> tip. Oh. 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 没有人给我小费。No, no coffee money. No. Okay, it's good. All right then, huh? I just watched、uh, some good news on TV. Yeah, a lot of country are open their arms to the refugees right now. Yeah. You know, Turkey, Turkey, even Turkey. You know, they have oh a lot, a lot of refugees, hundreds of thousands, and、uh, Jordan. Yeah, yeah, I have. More than million people there already. The Europe just begin to take in recently, yeah, and more taking more and more now because they come in every day, almost up to ten thousand every day. You know, my God, from Syria and Afghanistan or many places together.、Hmm. But today, new、uh, Slovenia opened their arms and taking ten refu- ten thousand. Yeah. And of course, Greeks island, Greeks, you know, Italian is the first steps to take refugees because they always go through there, yeah. And even Croatia, taking refugees,、uh, Croatia and、uh, even Romania, yeah. This country they are not very, you know, powerful and well off even like、uh, Germany or England. They're just taking refugees. <laughs> Yeah, 'cause they went there and then they just have to help them. They just help them. They didn't throw them out, you know. Yeah. So I I really thank all of them. Yeah, all these beautiful, generous,、uh, loving, kind countries for taking in the war-torn refugees. You know, children, babies, even. Oh, it's just heartbreaking to see them, and they walk. You know. They walk on highway, you know, hundreds of miles sometimes just to reach the other destination. First, they went from the boat, and the boat, you know, it's just very small ding dinghy, even small blow blow up, blow it up like、uh, air boat, air little boat, little boat that you use is for fun, you know. And they sit full on them, full on them. That's why sometimes accident happen in the. Mediterranean and thousands, thousands of them die. You know, ever since war came came out, broke out. This is terrible, it's terrible.、Uh, but now many countries seem to have, you know, seen their plight and opened their borders.、Yeah. Uh, some closed, of course, but some new open. Yes, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. The Hungarian border is still closed, but I hope they will open again. You know, probably just overwhelming, but later they, you know, when it slow down a little bit, they they will open again. Because、uh, if they close the Hungarian border, the refugees have to walk, walk all the way to Austria. You know, hundreds of miles away. And then, if if they have transportation, they will go to different other country. Germany, they like Germany. Yeah, they like Germany because Germany seems to be. You know, very willing and welcome. Yes,、uh, but、uh, we forgot. I also did not know many other countries before who took in the refugees with, with open arms. You know, like Malaysia, for example. Even before, yeah, we even、uh, I thank them now. Yeah, Malaysia, Thailand, Philippines,、uh, Australia. Those at the border、uh, at the on the. The end of the seas, you know, mostly in Hong Kong. I thank them all. It's even late, but I still thank them. Yeah. And even small country and not very wealthy country like Philippines, but so open heart, that took in the the last five refugees, five thousand refugees. Yeah. And I thank President Ramos so much for that. Still, <laughs> still thank him.、Uh, that was under his. His、uh, office, and、uh, his time in office, the five thousand nobody wanted anymore. Yeah, supposed to send back to Vietnam, but the Philippines did not. Yeah, they kept them. Yeah, so I'm always thanking them, and in this gesture of gratitude, we always are ready to help the Philippines whenever they have any natural disaster. 
still do. Yeah, because I'm very grateful to such a country, such a people. Yeah, Philippines, they, they don't even have very sound economically. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, they even have to, they even send their people go in different countries to work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they took in five thousand. You know, give them houses and, you know, accommodation and comfort until they find their job and. Yeah, I'm really grateful. If rich country take in refugees, okay, we are very, very, very grateful already. But poor country even take in refugees, then it's double, double trouble, double, triple. <laughs> yeah, double trouble for them. Yeah, but triple, manifold more merit. You know, like Slovenia also is not a well-off country, but now they pre- prepare to take in ten thousand. Their population only two million. <laughs> Understand? It's just a small country, and it's not very well known, not very well off. But they EU now, and they took took in ten thousands. It's very good like that, you know. May God bless him so much, so much. That country will be peace and prosperous for a long, 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 long time, many generations to come. They don't know the merit that they earn, but they will earn in any case. Even the prime minister. Prime Minister of Slovenia went to the the border, where the refugees are stuck there. Yeah, to talk to them, and got a kiss from little kid, little little girl, a three years old kid. She came and kissed him on the cheek, <laughs> just like that. Yeah. Well, that was very touching. You know, this is the news I like to watch. But mostly, it's not good news. <laughs> But now and then, you know, like diamond in the dust, <laughs> now and then you see just little good news like that and it's glad in your heart. And then you have to bear many other bad news before that, you know. <laughs> you know, have to dig through the dirt in order to see the diamond. So a lot of bad news, you know, all the time. Yeah, everywhere, you know that. But then the last, oh, refugees, you know, prime minister visit. The refugees at the border and all that. Oh, I was very, very, very glad, very happy. Human, I think, take turn now to become more compassionate, and I'm very, very happy. Yeah, very happy. Truly happy. Yeah, I think. Oh, I think I'm going to ask FG if we still have some more money left to send some to the Slovenia, you know, or Croatia, these smaller countries. Yeah, to help with the refugees. Yeah, we sent already one million, but that's before, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I haven't contact since. I don't know where they send. I say if cannot send in any place, and just send to Germany and UK because at that time mm-hmm. Germany and UK just taking in fresh refugees. You know, of course that money is nothing, mm-hmm. just a drop in, in the ocean. But if a lot of drops like that, you know, <laughs> then everybody is happy, you know, just to show our sympathy also, yeah, to comfort people and to show the gratitude to the countries who help the refugees. Yeah, you see, war is always terrible, no matter who right, who wrong. War is terrible for, this, for the poor bystanders and innocents, you know, victims, always terrible. Okay, right. So just a little fruit you eat right now is to remind you that in some places like that, you know, you don't have enough food, you don't have enough water. Right now, even the government take them in, but the the private citizen they help, you know, they came there and help to distribute, they organize themselves to give them water and the the first necessity stuff, yeah. Okay. Oh, chưa biết mấy người phải đi cái thằng ha? À, nhiều mà. <laughs>啊,以後那些不懂英文就做在一起好了,生殺在做別人,OK?以後都這樣的好嗎?這樣子我我講話的話就馬上就可以翻譯,不然就在那邊跟耳聾一樣啊。I say next time whoever don't understand English, group together, sit together in one place, OK? So in case spontaneously I want to talk, and people will have translation right away, so they don't sit there like deaf, you know, <laughs> they have ears but don't understand. Yeah. Even though I encourage everyone to learn English, but it's not that easy for elderly people, understand? 
or people from China, even if they want to learn, even they're smart, there is not enough facility, yeah? Not enough teacher to go there and teach you one by one like that because they live everywhere separately. And it's not easy for them to find English teacher, yeah? Yeah. And maybe if they can find, but they cannot afford. You see what I mean? So it's not like a square like this, okay, Master, say learn English, why don't you understand anything? It's not like that. Every individual case is all different, yeah? Because some of you are well off and easy access, you live in the city, you don't understand. Many situations are very, very difficult. Yeah? They could not even get on the bus, there might be no bus in their area, and they're too old to go alone, don't understand how to ask. Understand? Yeah. Therefore, last time when they, they just leave them in loving hood to, to fend for themselves, I was very, very, very worried. Yeah? So I asked them to bring them back until the house is full. They still can stay until, you know, and then we have to bring them to wherever they sh go. Cannot just leave them anywhere like that. Many don't speak English and elderly. Understand? You have to understand as if it's you, your situation. You can't just uh, classify everybody the same, okay, they all understand, they all know what to do. It's not like that. No, no, it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. Many people older, like in China, or even Taiwan or Vietnam, they never left their village in their whole life. It's not like you. You are in the Internet and modern time. You live in the city and you travel around, you understand everything. But for these people, it's very, very difficult. As if you never drive in your life and now just sit you in the car and make you drive. Yeah? And no map, nothing, just tell you go. Go to <laughs> Munich, go to anywhere. Understand? Even I had difficulty with that. Because I couldn't drive the stick shift. Stick shift? No, that's German, right? English too? English too? Oh, manual and car, you know? Not auto. And in Slovenia, I drive and stop in the middle of the highway and drive again and stop. Oh my God, I didn't know what kind of crazy woman I was. Terrible. You couldn't do that. You shouldn't. <laughs> but at that time, I, I can't go with disciples. I had to do it alone. It's more effective this way, more effective, you know? More married, yeah. If I, if I let you drive, then I share many, a lot of married or I cannot save it and give it more to more people. You think my marriage is immense. It's true, but the world is immense too, and your karma is more than immense. <laughs> the people, not just yours, but the people, the, the human's karma is more, more than immense, because life after life, generation after generation, the bloodline, DNA keep continue to, to, to revolve, you know, inside the next generation. That's why in the Bible it says the sin of the father will be transferred to the sons and the, the children, yeah? You understand that? Yeah. And the Buddhists also say the same, you know, past karma. Yeah. And imagine, <laughs> life after life, generation after generation, it's not one lifetime. Hmm? Hmm. Therefore, the more I save, the better, understand? The more I can give. And the merit, I cannot take it from heaven, no. I had to earn it right here. Many lifetimes here, earning and teaching at the same time, earning and giving at the same time. And in this lifetime, I also had to earn and give at the same time. But too much, <laughs> too much giving, earning, little. <laughs> no time to earn. I have to earn money also, sorry about that. <laughs> earning money, you have to, 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 to think what to do, you know? Yeah. I'm not interested in money, really. In my heart, no. But I know money is a good, good instrument. Or using, you know, helping other people. It depends on what you use. You know, then money is useful. Hmm? For refugees, for poor people, for disaster, immediate aid, you know, for these people, my money is useful. Otherwise, for me, not much. Even now, if I don't have any money, I can think of the way to make money. I have always earned money since my young, young time, so I could still earn now, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> to earn money is not that... To earn money just for yourself is, is so easy. Yeah, so easy. Yeah. Even when I was young, I don't earn much, but I still have enough money always to give it to the African children or 
you know, whatever, in uh, says on TV, you know, help us, to help these children. I, I did not have a lot of money, but I can give. You know, I don't, I cannot give like thousands, but I can give hundreds. You know, like hundreds here, hundreds there, hundred every month. Yeah, but in some uh, desperate area, one hundred dollars can can be used for a lot. You know, to to feed the one family at least one month until they find a job. You know, I remember. Uh, there was one village in Africa. I, I read it when I was in England. Oh no, I, yeah, I saw it on. Yeah, I read on newspaper. At, at the a young boy, you know, he wished he only thirty dollars, so he can buy a little farm, <laughs> and plant vegetable, and raise animals for himself. Thirty dollars, thirty pounds. Sorry, thirty pounds only. Imagine that. Oh, I sent him much more than that. <laughs> Ten times more <laughs> through the newspapers. Yeah. I remember that one time, but I don't always remember things. Just now I tell you about how little money I had, then I remember this. <laughs> but uh, nobody knew this before, right? I didn't tell you this, right? No, that was. Uh, I read. I just sit and wait for my uh, taxi or something, and I read just just that little news in the newspaper in in the hotel lobby, and then I I will send immediately and ask the hotel to post it for me. Uh, you can always help, you know, in every situation, wherever you can. Huh? It doesn't have to be a lot. It's according to your mean, yeah, according to your mean. And then God will give it to you. I never thought of God give it to me back, you know, when I was younger. Yeah, now I know about it, but <laughs> before that I didn't know. I couldn't care less, you know. I believe I, I have little enough intelligence to take care of myself, you know. Yeah, I can always find some job to do. Or you go to do waiter. You know, when I was student, yeah, I go do waiter, just like I did for you right now. It's my old job. <laughs> it's no, no big deal. <laughs> yeah, you had to do many things to, to study. You know, and to live in a foreign land. Yeah, when you have not uh, uh, learned enough the language yet. After I learned, then I I learned in Germany. Then I helped the refugees with my language, the Vietnamese refugees. At that time, there were hundreds of them were housed in one of the empty building, and the Caritas Germany was helping them, and the Red Cross also helped in different way. Yeah. So just now I just also wrote a note that we can give some donation to Caritas in Germany. You know. Yeah, because I remember they helped the refugees a lot. Yeah, I can't do everything. It's a trouble. <laughs> Too many things <laughs> in every day. Then sometimes it I remember. Sometimes I don't remember. Just like the story I told you about the little farm boy in Africa. I just remember it now. <laughs> Ten or twenty years already. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> yeah. It's not like I don't want to do it. Or just sometimes it's not. It's not feasible to remember everything or to have time to do that. I remember I wrote it before, also a long time, uh, uh, some more, mon- more than months ago, in another country about donation to Caritas. But today I just remember again because the refugees. And then I wonder if I have tell the FG to give or not give. So I wrote again and said, "Remember to <laughs> remember to ask about donation for Caritas." Yeah, you see what I mean? How busy I am. I need to also meditate. I need to spend at least. Uh, Ten minutes per day, uh, more than ten minutes, to thank heaven and earth. I have to. That also take up some time, at least four times like that a day. Ten minutes each time. Yeah, but that's the minimum already. Understand? More I cannot. <laughs> more I cannot. More I cannot have time. Yeah. Truly, you think I sit here doing nothing? It's not like that. No, <laughs> it's not. I'm just sit here doing nothing. No, I'm very busy. All kind of things, yeah. I would like to do more if I have more time. I can't, yeah. So many days I didn't see my three dogs. Yeah, I think I have to see them today. I have to. I was thinking to build a little more hut outside so that they can stay with me all day, so that I come in and out and see them. It's easier than than waiting. Because the big dog and the small dogs, you know, I'm worried they don't get on well. Uh, He. And the black dog, 
the black dog is more aggressive than him. I'm more worried about him than <laughs> than about he, about the three dogs. The black dog I adopted from Hungary, you know, more than 2005, I think. That's more than 10 years already. At that time, he was already big. So they all live very long, like happy. I I adopted her in uh, 2000, 2001, but the beginning of 2001. So that means 16 years, 14 years, including 2001. Fourteen years, you you're right, yeah. Fourteen years, she still lives on. At that time, she was already. They told me she's three years old. You know, I think, I think they cheated me, <laughs> because so that you adopt. You know, younger adopt. You know, if they say too old, they don't. So like happy when I adopted her, they say she's only five years old. The doctor told me at least nine years old already. Aww. All the teeth gone, her eye cataract and. The bones and everything say that they're at least nine years old. They cheat you. <laughs> they say he's younger, so you adopt quick. Even if she was nine years old, he was nine. I would have adopted also, because he already came, you know, and already stayed in my heart at that time already. So no, 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 no way to to cut it off. You see, I saw him and all all black and gray, you know, because they put newspaper for them to lay on. Yeah, in the cage, 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 and uh, wire cage, you know. So put newspaper, so a little softer, and he's all gray. So they wrote in the newspaper, a gray poodle. Mm. <laughs> I search internet; they don't have gray poodle. <laughs> they have maybe black or, you know, golden and and white, but they don't have gray poodle. And after we wash him three times, he's a white poodle. <laughs> You know, when we took him home, immediately wash him, and he still smells so bad. So we wash again and again, but later I know the smell came from his uh, rotten teeth and and uh, internal condition. So we had to immediately took to different doctors. Cost me ten thousand dollars, you know, already. at least you know the beginning. <laughs> so we call him ten thousand dollar dogs. <laughs> <laughs> In Chinese, we call it. The one, the ten thousand dog. Okay, the ten thousand dollars dog. And that was just the beginning. Yeah. Because his teeth are bad, you know? And then the doctor has to take them out. And then, then he has to put bones in it. Bone, uh, fake bone, you know? Or bone inside his uh, gum. Yeah. Because otherwise he cannot chew. You know, the gum will be floppy, you see what I mean? And he was one of the two best doctors in America. Yeah, best, best dentist. And his clinic is beautiful, yeah, and equipped with, you know, he, he specialized in that, understand? Yeah, so we took him to the best, and then afterward he could even chew veggie bone. He had only four teeth left, you know, two upper level and to an under level, but he could chew all the bones I gave him and fight for it. <laughs> and he can chew <laughs> carrot and all that, you know. Whenever he likes, he asks Hermit to go and steal some carrot for him. <laughs> because he's uh, short, he cannot uh, reach the, the basket high, so Hermit always took it down for him. Yeah. I told you all this story? Okay. But I like to say it again. <laughs> you pretend you didn't hear, okay? <laughs> Because I don't have my book here, I just talk nonsense until, till you go to eat. <laughs> and uh, I used to have another house, but long time ago, no? it's gone, it's gone. Uh, because we had problem with neighbors, my dog. They say you have to fence a dog in here. I cannot let him go out. He's on my yard, but he said you have to fence it here, otherwise he go next to my house and blah blah blah. So, and the other neighbors, oh, they bark. <laughs> I just like cannot clap, <laughs> and they walk only now and then. Only when they come out, we take them out because they're excited, you know. So they oh, 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 yeah, they're running around like that, harmless. No, also complain. So I move out twice because of the dogs. I don't want my neighbor to hurt the dog's feeling. <laughs> I want to keep hearing nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Because when they say that, they say in front of my dogs, and they were all lying down and you know floppy, feeling sad. 
So I said, okay, we move house. Yeah. <laughs> and move to the next is a similar situation. <laughs> yeah. It's, so I had to move again three times, huh? not two times. The first house, the second house, and the third house. Yeah. And uh, oh, they were, in that house, we had a big tree. Uh, I, I think like a rhubarb or something. It tastes like chocolate, very sweet. The, the, the fruit looked like these uh, flat beans, a China bean. Flat, uh, flat like this, and long, giống như là cái trái chùm cớt của mình á. Yeah, yeah. And then, but when when it dry, it become blackened, yeah. and inside very sweet. very sweet. Yeah, people use that to to make uh, sweet instead of chocolate also, for people who don't like chocolate, or just a different taste. Yeah. Oh, Hamid is addicted on that. <laughs> we have many of the trees, but it's too high, you know. It grow on a higher level, and uh, Lucky cannot climb up that, but Hamid can. He climb on the wall, and then he jump on that, and then he took all the 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 nearby the the fruit that grow near to the ground, or he took the one that already drop on the ground. Every day they went there together have a party. <laughs> Only two of them eat this; the other don't eat. Yeah. Whenever he likes, he look at Hamid, jump, and then stamp in his feet to say something. I don't know what they say, and then Hamid came up and brought all the fruit down, and they always, one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. <laughs> yeah. Hamid's very generous, yeah. Even sometimes only one carrot, he cut into two, he bite it into two and give, give one, push it with his mouth for her lucky to eat. And they both are very enjoying together. <laughs> Whatever ham it likes and eat, lucky one also. Yeah. They eat, this, they have the same taste. So, <laughs> carrot, even potato, raw potato, eat also. If there's nothing, no carrot, then they eat raw potatoes. <laughs> no, apples, of course. Eh? They eat together like that, like a brotherly, you know, only two of them. The rest uh, have been never like carrot or potato, raw potato, nothing, no. But uh, Hamid and Lucky share the same taste. Always eat together, <laughs> both of them. <laughs> Whatever they can take, they eat together. Yeah. If Lucky is nearby, he always give him. Mm. He cannot not give. Hab Lucky, he will make him until until he gets. <laughs> he will sit next to him. You know. <laughs> <laughs> And then he gave, Lucky, he's really something. Whenever he wants to demand apologize from Happy, I don't know what Happy did, but he demand apologize. He stand there in front of him, uh, in front of her, and stamp in his feet. And then Happy has to come and lick him on the face, <laughs> say sorry, I don't know what he did. <laughs> Truly, he stamp in feet like a kid, you know? He really stand there. And he look at him in the eyes, stamping his feet, until Happy has to kiss him. And just so quickly, Happy also feel reluctant. I, I feel that she's not really willing to, but he say, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this attitude, you know, so obvious. It's not like he came and, you know, uh, tenderly, she, not like she came and tenderly loved, like uh, and sometime when she does it. But uh, the, when Lucky demand like that, he come just like quickly, too. <laughs> And then, okay, okay. <laughs> and then she went to another corner. Oh my God, when you see that, you thought they're humans. You don't think they're dogs. <laughs> uh, I'm really surprised also many times uh, how the animals understood each other and do things just like us. Like I told you, sometimes they're, they're so quick, I cannot take photo, and I didn't think about that. You know, I didn't think about that. Like I said to Mirabo, she, because he always uh, run, up, he always run after the, the beautiful blue one, and then the blue one don't like always show him around. But he always persist. She likes uh, a rainbow. She doesn't like the white one. She likes rainbow. The other um, macaw, you know, yeah, yellow macaw, yellow and green. <laughs> and, but he always persist. You know, he likes her. <laughs> so kind of. Fighting, you know, I say, Mirabo and uh, Laguna, you both make peace, okay? And Mirabo, you behave. Huh? She doesn't like you. 
now you go and apologize, huh? apologize. She went and plucked one of these uh, olive twigs and came and waving in front of in front of uh, Laguna, you know, the blue, <laughs> the blue macaw. I was speechless. I knew she and un they understood me, and I knew they understand me, but I didn't know he would do that immediately. And how does he know olive symbol peace in, in, in Europe? They were living in here, in this house, yeah. But long time they're not here because there's too much trouble with the, with the law, you know. Even in the same place, like in Italy, I just moved from one house to another, or in Europe, I moved from one country to another, have to report, and they have to come and check and poke and pick them, and they were so scared and flying, and their feathers were all flying down. So I moved them to some places, I don't have to check all the time. Understand? Yeah, and I'm used to it now. I don't want to see them because I need to work, okay? Yeah. If I want to see, if I see them again, then my heart will be softened, and then I spend time with them and all that. And right now, I can't afford for anything, even for myself. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes you just have to make sacrifice, you know. Yeah. I consider myself a monk. I left my family, <laughs> my birth family. Yeah. And many days now, I don't see my dogs. You know, another type of family. And today, I had to see them. Mm. Okay, then it's time. Time you go eat, huh? Mm. I see you later, okay? <laughs> Thanks for being good audience. <laughs> okay, good. We go now. We go eat now, okay? Time to eat, right? You done? Kitchen done? Huh? Okay. Okay, kitchen staff, because you stay long. So you take care of yourself, okay? Yes. I mean, if you need something extra to eat, so you work harder, but they only sit, they do nothing. Eat <laughs> <laughs> something extra, buy it on the house, okay? Or on me. You tell uh, Sawi to buy anything extra. Extra clothes, extra food, extra some fancy stuff that you used to have. <laughs> on me, okay? Do that. All the, all the working team, okay? Could you stay longer? You need to, to take care of yourself, understand? Blanket, clothes, uh, any extra thing, okay? Or monthly needs, understand? Yeah. Could you stay longer? You have to stay well and healthy. Uh, people come and say only uh, one week is okay if they short of this, short of that, understand? Yeah? Yes. And if they got sick, they can always go home and then they get well again, understand? Yes. You stay long, you must keep warm, stay in a comfortable place, sleep well, yes. eat good. Okay? Yes, yes, Anytime you're hungry, don't wait. Yes, don't wait for the same time. Eat what you like, okay? Yes, and if you don't have, you tell Sabi to buy it. Yes, yes. Can you? I told her already, but you say it to her again. Okay, now. Yes. Ciao, 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 ciao. I will take care of my dog. Yes. <laughs> Go eat. Good appetite. Yes.